You know what? I'm not really much of a beer drinker. I'm just wearing this shirt because I like it. I'm just fond of this shirt. I found it at the thrift store and I, I had to have it. And, uh, oh, this uh, vlog is also a test of vision because there's something slightly different about this vlog in particular from the last few that I've posted. So if anyone figures it out, um, post in a reply. Uh, yeah, my neck's a little sore, and to specify that, my neck and not my throat is sore. Uh, this does not, this is not a job that requires Chuan Bay Pipa. Um, what's going on here is, uh, now that I've gotten all these videos posted, I've been struck by vanity. It's, I look at these videos and I think, ugh, I look like a bullfrog with a handlebar mustache and so I've been doing neck exercises I've been you know doing this and I've been doing other things you know what do they call them isometric exercises to because I don't want to get a waddle I don't want to I don't want to like look at the video and think <laughs> um so yeah so that's the reason my neck sore my neck muscles are sore but I'm thinking I might have to stock up on Chuan Bay Pipa before the flu and cold season comes. But on the subject of uh, confirmed bachelors, I actually do have um, more promo videos in the pipeline. I'm actually going to be writing some more, writing some more promo videos, and I will have those posted um, when I get them written down and shot <laughs> obviously duh but i'm thinking i'll just post i'll just um i'll just tape both of them at the same time and post the two uh in consecutive weeks and uh without giving too many spoilers away i actually have the concept for both of them written they're going to be like based on uh monologues delivered by one of each character. So one of them's going to be delivered by Oliver and the other one's by Charlie and Oliver will be describing an event in which he rescues a friend of his from public humiliation and Charlie will be describing um uh, he'll he'll be talking about his first foster fam foster parent in Sacramento and that's going to be well, uh, I've been doing some more research on the show, and uh, Google Books is a very big, um, very good uh, source of these sorts of things. And all I did was type in San Francisco, and I set the date to 1882, and I found this book called uh, Stranger's Guide to San Francisco, published in 1883. Did I say 82? I meant 83. And... It is the most amazing resource I have found. I, I couldn't have found anything more perfect had I gone and asked the San Francisco Historical Society because this thing is just amazing. All these places that aren't there anymore, but were there then, and this is just... Having found this current... Fourth of time period I'm looking for, current guidebook, it's just incredible. I just, um, there are all these things, and all this stuff that I didn't know before, not only all these places that aren't there anymore, which were probably dest destroyed in 1906, because, um, those of you who don't know, there was a devastating earthquake and subsequent fire in 1906, and all these places that aren't there anymore... Also, place names that are different. As I remember seeing, I was looking through the uh, train schedules and the uh, stage schedules because, you know, <laughs> they didn't have, they didn't really have cars back then. Um, but yes, there was, there, uh, the Northwestern Pacific, which is oddly enough the railroad line that my father uh, worked on in its dying days in the 1990s. Uh, said that trains would leave from Petaluma or Donahue, and I'm thinking, where the hell is Donahue? I don't know of any place named Donahue, but 
Donahue was named for the railroad's founder and is, is currently known as Sonoma. It's, the county was called Sonoma, but the town for a while was known as Donahue. I did not know that. So it's like you learn something new. Do -do -do -do. Um, learn something new every day. Um, did I want to say anything else? Oh yeah, my productiv my productivity has gone down a little bit because I rediscovered something. <sighs> but fortunately, that hasn't distracted me too much because the main character that I was playing in that game is stuck right at the part, the, my least favorite part of the game, and if any of you played it, I, I'll have you try and figure out which one that is, but it's like a very long, very drawn out, very tedious portion of the game. And uh, I was thinking, oh yeah, I remember why I quit, this, quit playing this in the first place. But anyway, uh, was there anything else I wanted to say? Um, there, one thing, uh, there was one promo video idea that I had before, which was, it, it was just kind of silly. I thought I'd go in a more character-driven point as opposed to, you know, shtick driven It'd Give you more a taste of what the show's actually like. But the, the idea I had kicking around before was Oliver was going to be mysteriously transformed into the Chester Arthur Pez for no real reason. It's just like, Hey, Ollie, you got your side whiskers back. You know, when are you going to get that? <laughs> when are we going to get that? Uh... <laughs> Civil service reform you promised us. Anyway, enough about that. Um, I was going to go a little in a little different direction with the uh, weekly tasting. Instead of a beverage, I actually do have um, the not Chuan Bay Pipa, the Hung Fuk Tong lemon juice drink that I, fresh lemon juice with honey drink, which that would bore you if I tasted that, but I, instead I got Mizuho roasted chestnuts. Look at that. Peeled, ready to eat, castañas. It's in Spanish too, and Chinese and Japanese and several other languages, I guess. But yeah, I've never had chestnuts before. It's here on the West Coast, we have something called chinkapin, which is closely related to chestnuts, but I don't know if they're edible. They have, they come in the same, you know, bird husk. They look just like chestnuts, but I don't know if they're actually edible. It's probably something that, um, that yeah, ingredients, first grade chestnuts, isn't that nice? Sulfur dioxide, that's it. Store chestnuts in a cool, dry place away from high temperature and sunlight. You may consume chestnuts right from the pack, from refrigerator, or from microwave. Oh, that's just my dinner being ready. It still needs time to cool down, so don't get, don't get too excited. You need to remove packing foil material before placing the chestnuts into microwave. Yes, that would be bad. Anyway, I'm just going to open this and eat them raw. Well, not raw, because they're roasted. Ooh, that smells good. It, it smells very nutty. Ugh. Let me give this another smell. Ooh, it smells kind of meaty, actually. But yeah, that's. It that smells very appealing. Yeah, it, it, it kind of smells meaty for some reason. I don't know. Let me try one of these. Yeah, it. It has kind of a meaty taste to it. It's very, it's very buttery in texture. Mmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. Ooh, it's very savory and delicious. I like it a lot. I'm actually going to be right back because I just had an idea. Okay, I, I, I put these in the microwave. I was going to put them in for like a full minute, but I stuck them in for 30 seconds. Well, I was going to put them in for like 30 seconds, rotate them, and put them in for another 30 seconds. Because I have an old microwave that doesn't have the turntable. But yeah, after 30 seconds, they're already steaming. So I don't think there's any need to heat them any further. The other opportunity was to stick them in the toaster oven, but um, I don't want the kitchen to catch on fire. 
So yeah, this is really hot. I think I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, they're even better heated up. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's what a chestnut looks like inside. Yeah, where have you been all my life? These are good. Hmm. Yeah. That was something worth finding. It's my my other choices were of course the horrible asparagus drink, which that's gonna come back and haunt me one of these days. And uh, fish snacks. There were fish snacks for like fifty nine cents a packet, and I was I was thinking, oh, that one has that one sa saute sauce flavor. That might not be too horrible. But yeah, I, I, when I saw these were on sale, I thought, I haven't had chestnuts before. I might as well try them. And yeah, these are really good. I'm going to have to get more chestnuts because they're so good. Mm. I've got a whole pouch full of them. So you guys do whatever you're going to do with the rest of your day. I'm going to enjoy more chestnuts. Mm. <laughs> See you around.